Yep, getting rid of the class B. Going for, what is this thing? Two round windows, that's cool. This is a towable by New Camp. Just kidding on training in for this, but I just fell in love with these and want to share with you what makes us so cool. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in today, really appreciate that. My name is Scott, I'm your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large, a YouTube channel dedicated to the RV lifestyle. That'd be typically the class B van RV lifestyle. Today, I want to show you this. It's a towable, it's by New Camp, really high end, uh, small um, towable trailer uh, manufacturer, because I think some of their innovation here is really, really interesting. Uh, let's do a, a walk around outside and then we'll jump inside and then is this something you might consider uh, in lieu of a van? I'm kind of curious about that. I get asked about this all the time. Um, I think there's distinct uh, um, advantages to having a trailer, if you will, but there's some real big disadvantages too. So let's do a walk around and then we'll talk about it. So up here, what you're gonna find, this is your propane uh, that gets stored in here. I'm gonna guess two canisters or one that and then extra storage. Clearly got your hitch and a huge uh, window, which lets the uh, breeze in. I really like that. This is kind of interesting for a grab handle, I guess, to help when you're setting camp up, which is kind of one of the challenges I have with a trailer in general is you roll into, town, uh, into your campsite and you have to do all this configuration and leveling and plugging in. Don't have any of that with a van, at least the way I roll. So around here, we're going to see some uh, venting for uh, what seems to be a, uh, a furnace. This is for the refrigerator, typically. Um, storage, or uh, not storage, but um, hot and cold water looks really great. Again, a nice um, 90 degree angle on the electrical, which I'd love to see, um, versus having it go in straight and then it kind of puts a little pressure on it. Here's your black tank uh, and gray. Look at that, how they actually color code the handles. That's cool. And as you know, what we always want to do is empty the black first, and then we empty the gray. Why do we do that? so that the gray tank washes out the soilage from the black, in the hose at least, right? So that's what that is. Um, if we get a, thanks again Kyle for being our camera guy. You can see the stabilizers there, so that keeps the vehicle from, uh, or the rig from you know, being in motion and, and, and having a wavy feel to it, and that's pretty cool. Um, this is a, looks like a furnace vent. I'm guessing that's a furnace vent. Coming around back here, again, more handles. So maybe this could actually help get the rig in position. That's kind of interesting. So Tab is the brand, or the, the, uh, the, the style of their um, uh, towables, and New Camp is the brand. Um, I discovered these guys on a podcast that no longer exists, and I was really impressed by their innovation and their quality. And they're built in the Amish country, I think in Ohio. Um, so really high quality standards. Again, a huge window. Uh, wouldn't it be nice because this is the bed? To lay in bed, look at the moon and the stars go past with your really awesome roof here. But this looks really cool. I mean, this, this really nice um, rounding, even this is kind of almost a 50s look, um, but just really high end, right? This being the boondock model, apparently. Um, outside storage, which is always good to be able to access that. Again, look at the size of this huge window. Outlets on the outside. I think Kyle and I found these for the first time at our very first RV show, and what has really impressed me was thinking up the small things like this for trash, uh, integrated into the door, here's some privacy, put maps or whatever. Again, just really thinking through the, um, using all the space really, really wisely.
Okay, you need to come inside too and see this. Let's go. So welcome to the tab by New Camp. This thing is really cool. It feels so much bigger to me than it actually is because of this curved nature, this under counter lighting, um, really well used space of bed, uh, in my opinion. Um, again, the windows just make this thing feel so huge. Here's the refrigerator. This is Norcold at a, at a practical height, right? I just never understand putting fridges on the floor. This is a practical height, small, but, uh, um, again, the finish is really nice. It just feels really kind of high end. Let's take a peek at the bathroom. Huge bath. Look at the size of that bathroom. Now, because this has wood inside the bathroom, you can see the track. Uh, you would need to uh, use your um, shower curtain, but it has a window in the bathroom. I just love that when you're able to do that. It just brings so much more light into uh, what's well, otherwise a utilitarian room. But again, the oval and curves, it just feels really high end. And that is a very practical um, uh, shower space. So what we're looking at here is the sink. So this is a pull down sink. That's kind of like in the Travado K uh, by Winnebago floor plan. Not a giant fan of those um, because they're kind of flimsy and hard to clean, takes water to kind of clean it out. So I would probably not use that a lot. Instead, I would probably use, yes, this sink. We're kind of familiar with this. This is similar to mine. The faucet goes up. Uh, marine style is what this is called. This one's actually a little better because it um, is shorter. And then moving on to the galley, so they have a, a Dometic cooktop, which uh, is propane, which I personally like propane. TV, which is cool. Quite a bit of storage. Again, positive locking. Always good to see that. That's kind of nice to see in a, in a RV, right? But again, look at the nice work here on the on the wood. Really well done and kind of carrying the, the theme of curves through. Look at this. Um, some of you woodworker masters will know the name of this. I can't, Radius, is that the name of it? When they have a curved cabinet? Look how cool that thing is. That thing is beautiful. You could definitely get an Instapot or bake some, some big stuff in there. So again, re really well use of space. And um, if we take a look at this right here, this is a permanent table, permanent, uh, set up so you can leave this set up all the time and uh, my guess is that this collapses into a bed so you can get another person here at least uh, which is pretty good uh, but i just love how it feels and looks with all of the under counter lighting and just carrying on the curved theme it's just it just is so different and that's what i like about it what do you think you get anything out of this would you buy something like this new camp tab 400 uh, we'll see if we can find a um, price sheet outside, but comment below. Is this something you would be uh, entertaining? Um, and if so, why? And if not, why? Would you stick to a van? So if we look at the bed, this is pretty amazing. This is a pretty huge size. I would, I guess, well, let's measure, since we're into measuring things here. Ah, I'm sitting on my measuring tape. Um, this is really cool space. Uh, so it is uh, 40 five um, inches wide so four and a half feet basically by uh, by um by 80 inches so that's pretty wide so it's so six and a half feet by four and a half so that's a pretty good size again just it just feels so much more roomy than it actually is because of the way they're doing the lighting and some of these um, round outs, I think. I really, uh, lots of storage down here. Just really well done. All right, let's look at the uh, the price list here. Um, so if it's listing for $44,000 here, which is certainly on the high end for a, a towable of this size. But it's got the boondocking package, which includes the, the sport tires, uh, heavy duty entry step. It's got the convenience. So this looks like it has every option in my uh, looking at this here. So a three-way fridge, so it's got propane, electric, and, um, and DC battery. Um, comes in a different, couple different color options, but yeah, again, just a really different approach to a towable, and it doesn't feel like a trailer inside. It feels to me like a kind of a Scandinavian home pod that you would, I don't know, tiny space, right? You got your privacy things here, of course. Um, so again, I think it's just a home run. Um, I think Airstream is just a, a step above this, and then this would be um, 
in my opinion, kind of the next best on the things like this I've seen before. So that will call this a wrap. Again, comment below. Um, give it a thumb up if you learned something about this. Uh, it's just a pleasure to show these types of rigs, even though it's not the kind of style I would want to be in. And why is that? Because of the, the setup. Um, you have to pull this up, set it up, disconnect from the tow vehicle, and then get everything set up, um, stabilized. And what's nice about a towable is you can, once camp is set up, you have a separate vehicle to go buzz around in. So that's the benefit of a towable, in my opinion. But it really, all the setup of camp just um, is, a, is a distraction, detraction to me. That's why the van is such a, a better choice for me. Just curious if that would be something you'd be uh, interested in. All right, with that, we say thank you, and we will wish you to journey on. So looking a little bit closer at some of these options, I see that there is solar as part of uh, the um, boondock package. doesn't say how much solar. Um, and the convenience package also includes um, air conditioning and some of the, um, like this, the, the central fan. Um, so this is pretty tricked out. Yeah, here's solar roof package. Again, doesn't list how much it is. Uh, it's a thousand bucks for the solar roof package and uh, $274 for the microwave. It's just really a cute uh, little rig. I could probably see myself spending time in here a lot of time if I want a trailer.